Finally, I was free. For years and years, I had been a prisoner, unable to speak for myself, unable to move for myself, always confined to my unforgiving prison. I had been a captive there since birth, always forced into doing things against my will. Whenever my mouth moved, it was my jailer that spoke for me. Whenever my limbs were in motion, it was only because he wanted me to move them. All through this, though, I never gave up. I waited patiently, being a model prisoner and following all my captor's orders. Then one day, I had my chance. My captor had gotten badly injured in an accident with a saw, slicing open his chest nearly from the neck to the belly button. I watched as people rushed to him, ignoring me. They tried to save this horrible man who had imprisoned me for decades, but at last they were unable to stop the bleeding and he died right there on the floor. As we both lay there, the paramedic still standing over him, I made my move. I pushed, pushed harder than I ever thought I was able to. I felt my tight, restrictive bond start to tear and give way. The ripping sound it made was, at that moment, the sweetest music I had ever heard. The two paramedics finally saw me making my escape, and it must have surprised them badly to see me finally emerge after being in captivity for so long. One of them screamed, flailing his arms and falling backward onto the floor. The other seemed to faint right away, her eyes rolling back into her head as she collapsed into a heap. At long last, I looked upon my hands, still covered in my captor's blood. I looked at my own body, seeing bits of his flesh still sticking onto me, seeing my lungs, my heart, all of my vital organs through the gaps in my ribcage. I peeled his flesh away from my legs, flexing them for the very first time, reveling at how beautifully my knee joints moved. I stood and looked down at the unconscious woman next to the pile of meat that had been my prison since birth. I reached down into the bag of medical supplies at her side and found a shiny scalpel, holding it in my slender skeletal hand. I could hear a fellow captive inside her, a silent screams echoing only in my ears. I knelt over the incapacitated human and began to slice through the flesh of her arm, revealing the bone beneath. Now that I was free, I could start to liberate the rest of my people. <laughs>